Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bitch Daniel and on this channel we talk about food, natural hair care, DIY videos and lifestyle videos. DIY videos is do it yourself in case you don't know. I'll be fulfilling a promise I made earlier in my wash day routine video. I'll link the video in the description box. The deep conditioner I used in that video, I promise to share the recipe with you guys. And I'm so sorry that I've not shared it since then. I've been busy. In fact, I actually lost the clip to that video. The video I filmed for the deep conditioner, I lost it. So I had to film it again. So I'm so so sorry for that and so today I'll be sharing the recipe with you guys. So I use basically five ingredients for this deep conditioner. Five ingredients will help in striking a balance between the protein and the moisture level in your hair. Our hair is made up of mostly keratin and then we add moisture to the hair to help it to grow out long, strong and then full as well. So in this video we'll be talking about the benefits of this five products, ingredients I told you about and then how I incorporated them into my deep conditioner as well. So the first product I use is avocados. Avocados is laden with a lot of nutrients and vitamins and fatty acids as well. It is made up of many polyunsaturated fats and monounsaturated fats as well. So the good fats that we need. So taking, eating aloe vera, <laughs> I said aloe vera, eating avocados and also incorporating them into your hair routine is very very necessary and to help your hair grow and thrive as well. Benefits of avocado oil are a lot and they are numerous. Firstly, avocado contains a lot of monounsaturated fats like I said earlier and oleic acid which makes it the type of oil that can easily penetrate the hair shaft and not just sit on it and coat the hair shaft. It penetrates and nourishes the hair from within. So that's why I usually prefer using very very ripe avocados like overripe avocados for my hair marks because they tend to produce to be more oily than just normal ripe avocados. Then avocados also contain a lot of vitamins and nutrients which also help to nourish the cuticle of the hair and help the hair. Avocados are also rich in biotin and B complex. You may have heard that biotin helps to grow out the hair yeah avocado is very rich in that so eating avocados and also applying it topically on the hair will really help your hair to grow out slow so the next product i added to this deep conditioner is honey honey is very very good for the natural hair it is an emollient and a humectant and thought it's a very good moisturizer for your natural hair as an emollient it helps smoothen out the hair make your hair smooth and shiny and then as a humectant it helps to attract water molecules in the atmosphere into your hair. So we see how beneficial it is to the hair. Then something you need to note about using honey on your natural hair. You should not use honey during the dry season. This is because the weather is already dry and then there is no much water in the atmosphere for your for the honey as it makes them to draw into your hair. So instead, it will draw out water from your hair to the atmosphere. So that's not what we want. We want to incorporate moisture into our hair, not taking it down. Calabara is very beneficial to the hair. It not only moisturizes the hair, it also strengthens the hair. It is rich in minerals, vitamins and amino acids, which helps hair growth and also helps to moisturize and strengthen your hair. Calabara gel helps to soothe itchy scalp. So if you have itchy scalp, dandruff, flaky scalp, aloe vera plays a very vital role in treating all of this. So if you just apply the gel to your scalp and massage that in, it helps with treating all those issues. It also helps to protect your hair from the ultra violent rays of the sun. Then it also helps in hair growth. There has not been any scientific study to prove how aloe vera helps in hair growth, but there has been a study in 2015 that showed that alunin, which is a compound present in aloe vera, helps to treat hair loss in people, especially people dealing with alopecia. So we can say that aloe vera helps in hair growth as well. However, there are a few risks in using aloe vera gel though. This, if you cut out aloe vera from the plants, like at the, at the base of it, there is this yellow latex liquid that flows out of it. 
I always dis just make sure you discard that. In fact, I will cut off the base of mine totally because that yellow, that yellow you picked, I think it usually causes itching. So I discard that. Then you also, even after discarding the yellow liquid, take a piece of the aloe vera and apply it to your wrist. Just apply it here and then leave it a bit for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes to see the effect it will have on you. If it does not itch you or it does not give you any reaction, then you can go ahead and use aloe vera. The next product I use for this deep conditioner is mayonnaise. Yeah, the normal mayonnaise you use in your salad dress. Mayonnaise is very rich in fatty acids vitamins and mineral and protein as well yeah i used it for the protein content mine is usually made with eggs and um, vinegar or lime or lemon juice and then healthy oils like olive oil so it is you see these ingredients alone already is very very good and beneficial for your hair the protein in the mayonnaise will help strengthen the hair like i said earlier our hair is made up of a keratin shaft so the protein will help to build up the hair and bind up species in the hair so your hair will come out stronger and fuller so that is the number one thing it does then the fatty acids in the mayonnaise will help to moisturize your hair and thin freeze your hair will look slick and it also help define your curls as well the vinegar lime or lemon juice whichever one helps to balance out the ph level of the hair the natural ph level of our hair is between 4.4 and 4.5 so the vinegar and the or the lemon and lime juice will help balance it out and add a little bit of acidity to it so as to prevent all these infections of the shaft of the scalp and the hair as well so but then we don't want protein overload in as much as we want to add protein to our hair we don't want it to be too much so you don't apply mayonnaise to your hair all the time or add it to your deep conditioner all the time if you deep condition or you wash your hair weekly you should not be applying mayonnaise to your hair weekly at least once a month or once in three weeks is okay this is to prevent protein overload because excessive protein will lead to your hair being too strong and then equally lead to breakage so we just want to strike a balance between moisture and protein so everything will be on the back i used coconut milk for this deep conditioner as well coconut milk is very nourishing on its own like it has a lot of fats healthy fats it has a lot of protein and it also has a lot of vitamins and minerals it is used coconut milk is made from the white shaft of coconut like the flesh of coconut if you just grate it or you blend it and then you extract the milk with water or you can just be like me and, bought, and buy the store bought one just the normal canned coconut milk it also works as well coconut milk is high in lauric acid and this lauric acid which is a long or medium chain fatty acid is known for its ability to penetrate the hair shaft it does not it does not just sit on top of the hair it penetrates the hair shaft and nourishes the hair from within also coconut milk has like protein in it like you said earlier our hair needs protein to try it also helps to moisturize the hair and the scalp the fatty acids and the oil you like coconut milk is from you get coconut oil from coconut milk so see how moisturizing coconut milk is this helps moisturize the hair and the scalp as well, making the hair shiny and helps with growth. Let's get right into the making of this deep conditioner. It's just a very simple process. So here are my ingredients. In here I have my honey, my real mayonnaise, the coconut milk, the canned one, the aloe vera plant, and my overripe avocado. So firstly, I'll go ahead and grate the aloe vera to extract the gel, then pour it into a stocking cap and then mash my avocado and also add it to the stocking cap. I'll go ahead to add the mayonnaise now and then go ahead to squeeze out everything. This is to prevent any aloe vera or avocado residue to be stuck in my hair. Once I'm done squeezing it all out, I'll mix it all together so it to be thoroughly combined. After that, I'll go ahead and add my honey. This is the humectant that will attract moisture. Mix everything all up together and then i will go in next and apply my coconut milk i'll add a generous amount of that like three spoons of it or more and then mix everything all up together not forgetting to scrape down the sides as well so once i'm done this is the deep conditioner easy peasy rich and very very moisturizing so i will not be using this today i'll add it to a container and be storing it in the fridge if it can last up to one week or more in the fridge provided there is light. the application of this deep conditioner on my hair is on my wash day routine video i also link it up 
on this video as well i hope you enjoyed this video and you guys have to practice what you learned in this video and take care of your hair well just know that there is no magic portion to growing your hair with patience and the correct care like taking care of your hair correctly with the correct tools and the correct products your hair will grow out long if you take care of your hair well it will grow into a healthy hair and a healthy hair equals long hair so just focus on the health of your hair and not the length if your hair is moisturized properly and then there's a balance between protein and moisture your hair will thrive there is no big mathematics added to it all these magic portions and all of that will just if you any extra thing you're just doing will just help to stimulate the growth in my next video until then be fine stay safe and take good care of yourself and your hair as well love you guys bye if you've not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for and eh, please now what should i do for you just subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell by the side so you'll be notified whenever i make a new video so see you guys in my next video bye